He is living with 12 wives, 25 own children and other 9 children that he adopted. His dream is to have 20 wives as he promised his spirit. This family with 12 wives live happily in harmony. No argument, no conflict and no collision although they share one husband. Despite people calling him a witch doctor, he claims to be a servant of God. Meet the biggest family in this region that shocked everyone. Polygamy is the practice or custom of having more than one wife or one husband at the same time. Polygamy has several economic, social and health advantages over monogamy. In most cultures, women contribute significantly to the wealth of the household and can thus materially benefit from the labor of an additional spouse. I'm here living with my 12 wives. My goal is to have 20 wives. So there remain 8 wives for my goal to be achieved. The one who inherited me these magics and medicine told me I'll settle after having 20 wives. This one here is my first wife. Well, I'm the elder wife. We have spent 16 years living together. I have produced 8 children for this handsome man. He never told me he would bring a second wife. I didn't see that coming. And after 2 years living together, he brought another wife. We never had competition between us. All we do is work together for a common interest. I'm the second wife. I have spent 14 years living peacefully with this man and other wives. I'm the third wife. He approached me back in the village where we met and he proposed me. He said he wants to make me a wife and he honestly told me that he has other two wives. I loved him but I wondered whether those two wives would not think I'm a prostitute or whether they would not think that I've come to take them down. But he said worry not, I'll handle that. And when I came This one and the other one happily welcomed me. He treated us good. That's why we kept coming and he has given us everything. We have never lacked something and in addition, he taught us love. We all love one another and we help each other. I'm the fifth wife due to his care and his love. That's what attracted me to come. Though I knew that he had other co-wives. I'm the sixth wife we have spent together seven years. And among those seven years, I have spent two years at home. We fell in love when I was still at my parents' house. He was friendly with my family. We first met at home. He often visited my parents. They were friendly and in that process, we fell in love. I'm the eighth wife. He is 12 years older than me. When we met, I already knew that he had other wives, but I never cared. I loved him and he also loved me. And because of his good and kind heart, I said, "Why not?" I joined the queue, and I'm not worried that he'll bring more wives. I'm the last wife so far before he brings a few more other wives. And I think I'm the youngest of all these other wives. There are 11 wives ahead of me, but we live in harmony. We understand each other and we share everything together. Before bringing me, he told me that he has other wives and I accepted living with him despite a number of extra wives he has. And right now, I have no problem with that. Each one of these wives live here in this house, and this makes me visit them one by one at night. I visit the elder wife twice a week on Tuesday and Thursday then go to others she is the priority that's why I visit her more often Does he satisfy you in terms of making love we asked Yeah he does and we are satisfied with his bed availability though he comes to me once in five days everyone has her own timetable 
and we are okay with that we know that we are many and we know we share one husband there is once i felt like divorcing i once went to withdraw a lot of money and when coming back i lost all that money i told him what happened and he said if you don't find that money i'll kill you and i ran away to my mother's place but i could not settle i had no peace of mind no sleep i could hear some voices telling me go back this is not your home I called him and said why is it that I'm not coming down he told me to come back here and I returned I had run away because of fear but of course he would not kill me <laughs> there are some medicine I have that brings back women who have left their homes so I use it to bring them back no matter what and where they're going and what they're doing at that moment they just come back that's what we call traditional medicine See them all they are here no one not even a president can have all of these none of my wife is hungry see how they look but before she worried about what we will feed on this mother of eight here i got married to her when we had extreme poverty I used to repair shoes on the street and by then we had no own house we rented later god helped me and they learned traditional medicine i had luck in that department that's how my career started and now i'm the best traditional doctor in the country this one also tried to run away from me but i have my spiritual powers that brought her back to me i gave her capital and she established her own business she is a business woman and later people would tell her a lot of words that i'm a wish doctor a wizard etc that made her change her mind and decide to go i never went to bring her back but my powers brought her back and she apologized I had got money from my business. Everything was going well. I said to myself, why can't I get money and go away with it and let this husband live alone as long as he has many wives. So I packed my things, took all the money. I went and switched off my phone. After some hours, I switched it on and saw his message that read, you will bring yourself back here. After seeing that message, after seeing that message, I had some voices and I decided to bring myself back here. Once in 3 months, that's almost after 90 days, our husband comes and prepares the meal with the frying, roasting and boiling different food. He lets us leave him to do all that alone, and the meal he prepares is always the same. It includes mushroom, and then we share that meal together, hence giving us some life advices that we should love and respect each other. In addition, he tells us that we are all equal. No one feels superior than the other. and then he asks us to tell him what we need then he gives the answers of all our requests he takes us for shopping and we bring whatever clothes we want he pays and we are back he treats us all equally and we call him daddy we live and share together and when it's sleeping time everyone goes in their room we don't complain that daddy is sleeping with the first wife the second wife or what no and i plan extending my wives to 20 in numbers and next month we are bringing the 13th wife uh, even these ones are aware of how we visited her together and after a few days this man was taken to prison because of illegal polygamy we are here because our husband was brought here yet for no reason we came here so that we could take him out of prison they came and took him when he was at home two policemen came and took him to the prison because of polygamy that's what they told us but for us as his women we have no problem with polygamy none of us reported our husband 
how comes he's taken to prison we want to know the exact reason why he was imprisoned we want to know more about this case then we can decide what to do we've come from seeing him we requested to meet him they denied we requested to at least write to him and send him a letter they also denied that police told us that none of those is allowed yesterday was a visiting day we had come to see him but police chased us away we had brought him a mattress but they told us to go back home last time you heard of me being in prison it's true i was in prison but i was innocent as you know i'm a traditional doctor recognized by the government so my working license had been expired by today i have a new working permit and i was also accused of violating covid-19 rules they said people were close to each other by then i had many patients in numbers between 30 and 40 i had finished treating two patients i had came from another mission and i was told i told them to take my number and call me the following day later in the morning as i was preparing to meet my patients police officers came at my house and took me to the police station police told me that they wanted to check whether i have valid documents and working permit one of the accusations i have is having many wives second not following the covid-19 safety rules thirdly They said I don't have complete documents eligible for one to be a traditional doctor and right now I have a valid license from the Ministry of Health Being a traditional doctor doesn't mean someone is wicked I have a kind heart and have been supporting the needy many times I have 11 children that I adopted and surprisingly I'm the one who will be on the gate of heaven telling people to enter or get out i will go in heaven because of my actions as we conclude i can tell people worldwide that i work with god there's nothing i can do without god's intervention luke 10:19 says i have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy nothing will harm you and verse 20 says but don't rejoice because evil spirits obey you rejoice because your names are registered in heaven i'm elijah and this is afromax english remember to subscribe